<laughs> right, this works really well, uh, and uh, but I'm determined to uh, to turn it into a twin, uh, twin loop um, for eighty meters and forty, so forty and eighty, uh, and the the way to do that is to make another loop. Now the problem is it's a little bit too big, um, so we need to turn these sixty-two and a half. Um, centimeter legs into 50 centimeter legs which means cutting and resoldering which is what I'm going to do um, and make two loops the same size and then join them but I'm not going to bore you with the uh, the taking it apart and rebuilding it bit um, I should do that and then uh, we'll come straight back um, with the second loop as well uh, and then I'll show you the joining and how we're going to uh, make all of that work. Okay, time to start. Okay, we'll go with that and see what happens. So in the excitement, I have created two um, well, 50 centimetre per side, so it's two four metre in circumference loops, um, soldered together at the base, as you can see, of a quick cross section. It's slightly off centre, so that I can put a pole on, on this side here. Okay, up to the centre, to the top, and they'd be slightly apart like so. Um, yeah, well, let's put all the spaces in. Let's put the capacitor on on the loop, and uh, we shall see whether or not it will work. So here's an idea how to keep the, uh, the pipes separated by the 10 centimeters they need to be separated by. Now, I've cut these bits of um, tube out of conduit and uh, I'm basically just going to feed a bit of uh, tie wrap through it as you can see There you go. All I gotta do now is do it on each side and we'll see how it goes. So here we go. Tube with a tie wrap through it, tie it at both ends. Okay. Simple, isn't it really? Really simple. Just need to be tightened up. We've got our gap and we've got our double copper loop. Just got to put a capacitor on the base and a loop at the top. Okay, 
a lot of goofing around, messing about, and a bit of planning and thought about it. Um, here we are, here's our twin copper loop. Okay, with two 15 mil inserts and up for the capacitor to sit on. Um, the loop will go at the top, but uh, here we go. It's now a case of uh, putting all of the, uh, the off cuts away. As you can see, there's quite a few. Um, I think this project's cost me about 70 or 80 pounds in sterling um, so far. So if you're thinking of doing this, be aware it's a, it's a fair investment in copper. We'll see if it uh, if it works. The single one worked brilliantly, and I've sacrificed it now for uh, this double. Um, and uh, hopefully this will work twice as good. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. So what we've got is the capacitor that's an elbow which has had its uh, well you can see it's been cut off okay just under half so that I can get a bolt for it I've done the same here and uh, the capacitor is now bolted in Across the banks. Ooh, got out of focus. Come on, autofocus. Oh, that's a good boy. Cool. Talk about nitty gritty. Right, here we go. Here's the weird shaped loop that I've made. Okay. Well, here's the reason why I've made the weird shaped loop. Amazing. One moment ago, <laughs> zero SWR. Well, that's the nature of the beast, isn't it? There we go. It's, gosh, such a sharp cue. And this is what I'd done. Um, I decided to, to double up on the on the loop, make it a twin. As you can see, and now she operates quite happily on forty and eighty meters. Um, I don't have fourteen megahertz, the twenty meter band on this one. Um, and as you can see with the with the loop being slightly off skew um, but slightly too too big um, for the the loop but uh, hey that's uh, small bananas um, it works it works incredibly well it has about the same gain strangely as um, the single loop um, uh, that's actually not true it's slightly better uh, but it is marginal uh, very, maybe one or two dB uh, at uh, at best, but um, and even that's a guess. There's no way of measuring it. I don't have a way of measuring it. Break, Mike zero, Mike zero, November. 
Mike Zero, Mike Zero November. Sorry for breaking in, gentlemen. I've uh, just completed a, um, a mag loop and I was just wanting to check to see if it was getting out or not. Uh, Mike Zero, Mike Zero November. Yep, thanks very much indeed. Did you say into Surrey, uh, five and eight? Yeah, thanks very much indeed, gents. Uh, the name here is Mike. I'm in the town of Gloucester. And uh, it's nice to know that, uh, yeah, it's getting out. Thanks very much indeed. Yeah, what was your call again, Mike? Yeah, it's Mike Zero, Mike Sierra November, M0MSN. Oh, yes, I remember you. Yes, that's how I met Mike. Excellent, thanks very much indeed. It's a double uh, copper loop, which I'm going to be uh, uh, posting up to YouTube probably next weekend. So I'm uh, just testing it to make sure it's all working wonderfully. Thank you. Yeah, um, uh, I'm listening to you too, but uh, I'm Mike in Hastings, but of course I'm doing one ECQ. Um, I'm listening, but I'm listening on the web SDR at Hack Green. But, um, so I told you here at the but, uh, you're coming in quite well anyway in Hack Green, or that? Okay, yeah, thanks uh, very much for that. Yeah, that's good news. Um, well, I'll, uh, I'll if, if you don't mind, I'll uh, I use this bit of um, uh, uh, of uh, recording for the YouTube to prove that the uh, the loop's working. Uh, if you, if that's okay with you. Excellent, thanks very much indeed. Uh, there was another station coming in with you then. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Mike Zero, Mike Zero, November, Golf Zero, Charlie Whiskey Hotel. My name is Andrew, location South 7, right down on the south coast of the southwest of the UK. Start point sticking out into the sea next to the lighthouse. I can give you a report of 59 plus 5 dB here in the southwest of the UK. Kira, Ah, QSL, thanks very much, Andrew. Yes, well, that's not too far away from my hometown of Exmouth, so I know where Start Point is all too well. Uh, back to you. Okay, QSL, QSL. My name is Andrew, Mike, and uh, operating here 200 watts from a Fox 10 uh, 5000 DX uh, into uh, inverted three cup for 80 metres, up at about 15 metres in the centre. Yes, yeah, certainly will. Um, it's a, a double copper um, mag loop, um, which is uh, eight meters in, in total circumference. Uh, it's basically two four meter in circumference uh, loops um, with an air capacitor and a, um, a meter um, long um, coupling loop at the top. Um, it's uh, actually on the ground at the moment. It's about uh, two meters above the ground and it seems to be working perfectly well. It's obviously a lot of sky wave uh, for us because uh, uh, this is a short distance, so it's working well. Back to you.